We are live. Hello, friends. Hello. It's Welcome back. Weeks. Thanks. It's mm. good to be back. Back in Australia for you. Yes. Been in Bali. It was nice. Nice. I nice. took some photos. Not many. Oh, did you? Yeah, I took a few. Not Can many. Can you show but... us? I could. Do you want me to? I could. I mean, might no, as well. Don't show us later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll chat for a bit. I can show you some. Okay. They were just, oh. I actually took, um, I actually took the R5 and a few lenses, but I mainly shot with a 35 mil to mm -hmm. try and get me uh, prepped for my new camera <laughs> that was, that was going to arrive hopefully while I was away. Uh, so I did that. Um, mm -hmm. Yelena wants to know if we've missed each other. Did, did you guys miss me? Um, yeah. Okay. okay. No, that's, that's cool. Um, anyway, we'll move on to something else. They didn't miss me at all. Uh, what have you guys I just missed the to? group chat. <laughs> okay, yeah. The group, the group the chat, group chat died. Went very quiet. Uh, what have you guys been up to? You've been shooting with your new camera, Grant? Yeah, we went down to the Otways the other week. Um, oh, yeah. Tested it out a little bit. Um, tried to just do some like handheld long exposure. Well, mm -hmm. probably not that long. But yeah, that no, was good to use. Good yeah, to get out. So did you how how long chase, or how slow? Did you chase how slow? Waterfalls? Yeah, waterfalls. waterfalls. So probably nothing longer than a second. Yeah. Still pretty. That's a lot of handheld. Low. Yeah. Un unheard of on the old uh, DSLRs for Jimbo. He's blown away. <laughs> <laughs> Is this just going to be a, an attack on DSLRs for, for me? And... Until you get one, yes. And, and, yeah, until you it. switch, yes. Sorry, yeah. that's just how it is now. Okay. Welcome to 2023. <laughs> how, are they, how, how are they going? Are they still working? Are you still shooting with them? My DSLRs? Yeah. Surprisingly, they're holding up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they still work. Is it still just had... 24 shots or...? <laughs> That, that's that's film, Grant. That's film. Oh, sorry. That's that's one more back to pass DSLR. Um, yeah, it's film, then DSLR, and then mirrorless. Maybe we should run a competition. Uh, uh, what sort of comp? Hit me. Well, Grant's got his new camera now. You've got mm. your new camera now, and then maybe those versus uh, the Mighty D850. Oh yeah. What would the what would the competition be? I don't know. Maybe best photo. Best photo. Of what? <laughs> yeah, ju well, ju maybe, judged maybe. by who? Well, I don't know. I'll <laughs> you judge come, it. You can't. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that sounds no. good. That sounds good. Um, I don't know. Maybe we could go do something. Go somewhere. We missed. Uh, we missed autumn in Bright. Definitely. We did miss autumn in Bright. No, we could do something wintry, something snow. We should go to the snow, take some photos. The my new mm. camera that I will mm. be unboxing, hopefully live on this episode, because I've tried to set up a second camera so you'll be able to see mm. the box opening. Yeah, uh, is weather sealed, which is kind of cool. Mm. Um, the new the so, new Nikon Z eight is that we got? Uh, no, no, I oh. did not. <laughs> that is definitely not what I decided to buy. Hey, are you going to buy one? I'll buy two eventually. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the plan. Eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, oh, that, that brings me into my first news item. What have we got in the photo news this week? Did you see this? Uh, hang on. Pulling it up. Pulling it up. Uh, Z8 recall. I didn't some, say that. Some, yeah. people can't, uh... some people can't mount the lens to the camera. <laughs> Just a minor, oh. it's just a small problem, a small recall, nothing major. Yeah. Um, but obviously, Nikon will sort it out. Um, yeah, they'll just get them back and fix it. It must be some sort of issue with the lock or something, but they literally don't. Yeah, you can't lock the lens to the camera, it doesn't hit that point where it clicks in, you know. Uh huh. So it just kind of keeps moving. I think around. it can, it can fall off. Yeah, Ooh. which is obviously yeah. not great. I actually don't even yeah. know if you can take photos, like whether it actually gets to the point where it will engage the contacts and allow you to shoot or if it's mm -hmm. basically the first time you take it out of the box you try and mount a lens and it doesn't work oh, yeah. you'd be pissed you would be but i mean as long as they sort it out quickly you would yeah. be pissed yeah. but it's not it's not like you know no it's not, it's not I, th I think in the i mean there's that group and a lot of people talking about it but i think a lot of people are like oh my camera's affected but they 
the camera's obviously working. They're not. Um, yeah, they're not like it's yeah, broken. Yeah. It's it's just it's affected. It's a serial number that's part of the batch. So yeah, just not a great thing to hopefully launch what is going to be the the successor to the D850. It's not a great way to start off. Um, Are you looking for a new bench, Justin? By any chance? Uh, I, <laughs> look. look I, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I literally just assembled uh, this bench here, this one. I just bought it. It's arrived, but they're still advertising to me. So stop wasting your money, NT Fitness. I've already got it. You got me. Okay. Did you get the 25% off that? Yes, I did. That's why I bought it. And that's why they're <laughs> smashing me with ads. The good thing is, is it's better than some of the other random ads that pop up every now and then. So yeah, we don't I'll, see I'll, that. I'll take it. Yeah. I'm also looking at some underwear, you know, just saying. <laughs> um, moving on. Uh, mm-hmm. Have you guys seen any news? You know what we haven't actually spoken about and I don't really have any information on it, um, but Grant had some, is the the Photoshop AI generative fill. The have beta. You play- yeah. Have you played with it, Grant? I have. Um, you, probably, you yeah. My last photo, I reckon I used it. My Ooh, second last so photo. So you're already like not a photographer anymore. You're, you're on the other side, Grant. Uh, the second, you- my second last photo. You're just a graphic designer. Yeah, he was knocking AI second... for so long, and now he's he's already yeah, over. Like... I just wanted to see how it worked. Um, mm-hmm. pull up. Justin, <laughs> pull, good pull, at it. Pull it up. Pull up my second last photo and tell me what you think is AI. And by second last, this is one of the things that I've been thinking a lot about and why I bought this new camera. But when so you say pull up my second last photo, obviously you mean Instagram. Like yes. what else? Do, what else do we do with photos anymore? Because I don't really like Instagram. I don't post on it. So what? What do we do with photos that we take if you don't post them on Instagram? You can, Think of you it. can get Tell them printed. Uh, and, yeah. and, and then what? Put them in the bin. No, put them on your wall. I do that. That's that's all mm. I've got. But no bring, one looks at them. I don't have anyone in my house. Bring <laughs> so friends no around. And, yeah, them. maybe you got to invite some people around. <laughs> yeah. um, Come is it on your album. Grant Fleming photo page? Yes. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm I'm searching. Just give me a moment. I'm not I'm not quite as fast as some mm-hmm. of the other pull it up Jamie people on the internet. Um, is that some uh, GoPros in your background, Grant? Yeah, yeah, I'm missing one. Oh, one missing one. Yeah, it's in my bag. I've got, I think I got some more news on the old the the GoPro sort of direction. I got a good camera for you, Jim, that came out today. Mm-hmm. Um, I did see that. You saw it too. Yeah, everyone sees it because everyone so. does the same YouTube thing these days where. They, they launch all the same shit. Um, so um, Yelena wants to know, do you not like Instagram, Justin, or do you just not use it? Uh, both. <laughs> I don't like the fact that the photos are small. So it's like, yeah. mm-hmm. you, you, you know, you could take them on anything, um, it, a phone or whatever, and you can hyper-process them. You can use things like AI generative fill and no one can see all the shitty, um, like, mm. generative. <laughs> yeah. not, you know, that's not real. Um, so I'm looking for like a larger format way to share my f- fairly average photos. Uh, um, is that not would be uh, what's it called? A, ga- a gallery? I'm not quite at that level. <laughs> <laughs> no one will have me. Uh, Although I, I am gonna have um, now that I'm back, I'm gonna get Matt from the Bright Gallery on the podcast. I'm very excited to see what yeah. this deal is. Yeah, the Alpine Gallery is it called? There's two of them in there, isn't there? Two photographers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. Mike or something? Yep. 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 So yeah, I was. I'm gonna get Matt on hopefully soon. He doesn't know this yet. I haven't reached out to him. He does know, but we haven't made a time. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'd love to talk to him about what the like what what gallery life is like. Um, in Brown, every time I walk past there, or used to walk past there, there was always people in there. Yeah, I would love to hear about his business and photography and and just. I don't know, being able to print things big and have people look at them sounds pretty mm. appealing. Uh, so which image? Uh, the one with the stairs. The one with the stairs. All that right, one. pulling it up. Yes, I see yeah. the stairs. I see the waterfall. Yes. Yeah. So tell me what's AI in that. Okay. What is AI in this? Oh, I don't know. Let's the sky, maybe. Like, no, I don't know. Uh, there's something weird going on here, but I don't know if that's AI. Um, Jimbo was right. Sky. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I just thought that the steps looked too good to be fake. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. couldn't see anything in the railings or anything like that. Yeah, because that was um, focus stacked, and then the sky was just um, just flat. There was nothing in it, so I was like, "Oh, well, let's wow. just try to put some clouds in there." Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like you grew. No, I'm not. I'm not adding yeah. anything. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah, well, just... I added some clouds. Yeah. No, okay, still that's right. It just made it a lot quicker than going into another photo, bringing the clouds in, yeah. which is what a lot of people would do. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you do what they recommend, which is put like elephants <laughs> and stuff in there? Um, no. You know, Have you seen the video one, the AI video, where they've yeah, like no. put heaps of little, like, um, it kind of looks like Star Wars, and then they've set it up so it's like the AI generated fill. And then they like press play and it brings it in on my person on the sand dune. Ah, oh, right. And it looks Speaking like a movie. Of, well, Adobe have the sand dune example in here. Look, like, look at this. So it's like original is that, which is what real life is, if anyone mm-hmm. you know might have experienced what real life is like. And then there's this, which is like the Instagram mm. bull- yeah. bullshit one. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's going to take away the it's going to take away reality i guess but um, if but, you go on to all, all the bigger instagrammers they do that anyway but now it's just going to be a lot quicker for them exactly people have been doing this yeah. forever it's just now it it can be done by anybody a lot faster but yeah, yeah. you're exactly right. more accessibility people, really. people have, so whether it's marketing stock photography or just um, making instagram look better than reality um that people have already been doing this. It's just much yeah. faster than But now. that's crazy there. Ex- expanding this yeah. mm-hmm. original image into that. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's not real. That's the problem. It's like it's it's created la- land that doesn't exist. So it's like those... Mm. What's the point of taking a photo of a mountain that's not real? I yeah. don't understand. Um, it, unless... The only purpose I see for it is is marketing. Like where it's like, hey, we just need a wide shot of some mountains to sell some north face shit or something and we're just gonna you know like no one cares but but places like like north face actually do care i would i would hope yeah they would and, want it to and be patagonia right. and stuff that will yeah. be like people will know that that's not what that mountain looks like when you mm. like when you look to the left it looks different yeah. um but what so, if you went out on a job and you're just shooting like one way so in that instance like vertical and then they want it like a that way and you're like oh i didn't get one and then you're just like oh i'll just give this a go that's, that's why i feel should, like you'd get one you though should, you would get one otherwise you would yeah. but what if you yeah, didn't then you should you get the job. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like it could work like for I a part-time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, um for like fashion and stuff or maybe you know if you were trying to cut a background in hmm. um if you wanted to really fill a frame but you maybe had like a, a small yeah. paper backdrop or something like that. I think it's more useful for like this. <laughs> the the bubbles? Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you've got a and dog and you're like, my dog, I think my dog would prefer bubbles and, and a puddle. car in the background, <laughs> then... What do they add the car? I'm not sure. And like, Without like, the car, it'd probably be... And the bubbles. Yeah. And the fence and all this shit. I'd just love to know how many iterations they had to do that to get that yeah. to actually look like the way they did. They mm. probably put all sorts of weird shit in there first. But anyway, I don't like it. Um, that's no. fine. I'm sure it will get used and become really, really important and evolve and become part of people's mainstream. I mean, I guess it's going to get to the point where we put on the Apple VR headset and just generate our life in our mm. world and, and we don't even have to do anything anymore mm. you can just Boring. say Gener- generate me uh, a cool place to hang out but you're actually cool place sitting, to take photos you're just sitting in like a prison cell <laughs> maybe no? I mean, maybe um what other cool shit did i see around the interwebs um so I, I've got a new camera, which is like a fixed lens point and shoot that I'm going to unbox on this um, episode, if anyone mm-hmm. hasn't guessed what it is already. I don't think it would be an episode if you hadn't had anything new to bring on the show. Exactly. <laughs> this show is just me <laughs> buying things and I'll start unboxing them. Maybe I'll start unboxing them and giving them away. Then we might get some some real viewers. Um, so this is a similar, this, this thing that was released this week. It's a high-end... Um, 
fixed lens medium format travel camera. Uh, is this what you bought? Is this what got released? This is another one that got released. Okay, so GoPro. No, phase <laughs> one. So it's 62,490 US. It's mm-hmm. a fixed lens medium format travel camera. Uh, it's 150 megapixel. Okay. Hmm. Um, well, seems seems legit. Crazy. This, is, this is benches again. Um, but you can, you know, you can take a photo of, um, the building anyway, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I don't know who's going to, so how big is it though? It's not small. I mean, that's a wooden handle. Like it's a, okay. Yeah. And if it's medium format, it's obviously, yeah, yeah. it it would be, it would be far bigger than a normal 35 mil DSLR. Well, maybe, maybe for phase one. Oh, the chat. Kenneth. Kenneth is back. Good evening, Kenneth. Who else we got, Grant? Uh, is that Pretty? Pretty? Welcome to Camera Life. I missed your videos. We missed you too. I'm very sorry we no. didn't really tell anyone that we we're going to have a few weeks off. The plan was for me to hopefully uh, try and keep some podcasts rolling while I was traveling, but I decided it was going to be way too hard with patchy internet to live stream, mm. so we didn't. Island but Life. Good to see you. Yeah, mm. yeah. Island Life in Bali um, and internet not so good. Um, anyway, okay. phase one. So, so phase are one you going to get that next week? Uh, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I think it's equivalent. So it's a 23 mil f5.6 lens, which I think equivalent works out to like 14 mil. Yeah, 14.7. So 15 mil or whatever, roughly on a on a 35 yeah. mil full frame. Um, so it's super wide angle. And yeah, you just basically, it's just a fixed lens, <laughs> insanely high quality um, medium format. Okay. Interesting. Seems someone will buy it. That's for sure. So, so, someone will buy it. I don't know who. Is that sixty two thousand US? Yeah, it is sixty two thousand US. It'd be so uh, like a million dollars, a hundred grand Australia. Australian at least. Yeah. Um, you know. <clears throat> so yeah, that's fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're not interested, Jim? You're going to stick with the the Z eight? Uh, for now, yeah. Unless, yeah. unless unless that maybe comes down in price. <laughs> Yeah, it's about ninety four thousand. What what did get released yesterday, day before, sometime is that I think you would like Jimbo is mm. uh, this the Insta three sixty Go three. Okay. So they've had the the Go two and the Go, and it's this little camera. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you have to wear it on your head? You don't have to, but you could. So it's thirty five grams. This tiny little thing. But they've just released it now. So so this is what I think you should use it for at weddings is you wear oh, a magnetic man. pendant behind your shirt and mm-hmm. it just clips to your magnets to your shirt. So you could actually do and that shoots in essentially this is from what I understand, it essentially shoots in square so you can crop either way later. So oh, vertical cool. for reels and stuff like that, or yeah. like it doesn't matter. It just it just does its thing. You don't have to worry about yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Um, and you can just so, but um, you can also it's got stabilization, all that stuff. It's not going to be as as good as a GoPro or something in terms of image quality, um, but it's teeny, teeny tiny. So for like b- behind the scenes social media stuff, um, yeah. And then it's also like voice control, start shooting kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I feel like that pendant, you know, being so small and it would also be cool if you were going to do yeah, any sort of behind the scenes shooting, I think it would be very cool. Mm, it does yeah. look interesting. It is interesting. Mm. It's, it's a bit expensive, I think. Yeah. I've seen Peter McKinnon had on a knife in his thumbnail. Yeah. The shot that from, that I didn't pretty, watch that. Was, the, the shot from that knife was pretty average, um, but it made for a good thumbnail. But so it's this action pod that makes it cool that magnetic magnets into this thing, mm-hmm. um, which is like a, a dock that charges it so you can get more charge, like more capacity out of it. But you can yeah. also flip it up to like selfie oh, yourself no. or just yeah. like the screen. So the screen still works when it's disconnected. So you can look and check your shots and stuff like that and use this as a remote screen. Um, yeah without having to like pair it to a phone or, or whatever and muck around. So it's, yeah, they've, they've done a good job of designing something that's, you know, similar to a GoPro, but 
but different with different yeah it's got a different purpose this kind of thing that's cool yeah yeah so yeah very clever get one for your trip jimbo Mm. yeah could do could do i think i think for weddings it would be the most useful thing if you wanted to produce reels from behind the scenes parts of the day yeah, because um, because you, you know you strap like a GoPro chesty man on you, you look like um, yeah, and they and they're gonna be looking at it and like thinking about it and stuff like that. Whereas that, yeah. um, it's so small, people might not notice. I wonder how good the magnet is. It's very good. Okay. It's uh, I don't I don't know if you'd want to ride dirt bikes with it if that's what you're thinking. No, no I was just I was literally thinking for weddings. I was like you know oh, running, you, jumping, no, no, lying on the ground, that sort of thing. I don't think it's going to come off with that. They were showing it mm-hmm. on some videos and it like snapped on pretty hard. Well, oh, okay. let AI do the work. Oh, no. Might as well just sit at home and let it generate a video of a holiday you could have had. You just pretend you went on it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the, so you can change perspective yep. without like after you shoot. So you don't have to worry about, um, yeah, picking what you want to frame up or whatever. Anyway, cool. I thought it was interesting. Yeah, I probably thanks. won't get one, but if you do, I'll play with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Have you? Oh, there's other things, but have you guys been shooting at all, like a gym? Have you? Have you been working? It's winter. Yeah, it's, it's winter. It is winter. Season. Things have slowed down. I've literally just finished my editing my last wedding, so mm-hmm. almost finished putting it together. And then that's it. No more work for months. Otherwise, yeah. yeah. Just gonna no headshots or anything. Yeah, I've had I've had some headshots and uh, a bit of commercial work coming through. So I <laughs> did a family session last night, which was like actually awesome. It was super fun. So, oh, um, nice. funny story. Yeah, they actually you shot them and their dog a few years ago, Justin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They did reach out to me and you at the same time. I think about yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was a that was a sad but very nice shoot for their mm. dog. Their dog was yeah. getting old and. And we got got the family together for one last photo shoot. So, yeah. hmm. oh, very cool. So, so you've been doing a little bit. Mm, been doing a little bit. That's good. You got to keep those DSLRs clicking over, otherwise they rust up. <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh, the jokes. The jokes. Uh, what else? Oh, not much. What's you know what are you been shooting, Grant? At, Pardon. Uh, well, what have I been shooting? Yeah, have you been Other shooting? Other than waterfall chasing, have you been doing anything else? Uh, no, I've got one. I've got two jobs this week though, okay. coming up or next okay. week that you know about. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to shoot the Benigo Braves in a couple of weeks. They finally yeah. got back to me mm-hmm. for the last game of the season. Our basketball other team. That, yeah. Other than that, no, I haven't really no jobs. Until the end of the year. Cool. Have mm-hmm. you been testing much with the R5? Like, do you do you like test things? Do you muck around at home and like try try out like high ISO and see what it looks like and things like that, or do you just wait till you have a shoot? Uh, wait until I have a shoot. The other week when we went away, I was pretty much had the camera the whole time, just trying mm-hmm. to do some like um, long exposure, nighttime stuff, just to see how it goes. Um, yeah. yeah, I want to get up to the snow soon. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to buy that 16 mil lens and try and get some good Milky Way shots up there. Yep. Cool. It's a good lens. If you don't get it in time, you can borrow mine. Yeah, cool. It's definitely um, good value for money, but it does have its flaws. Yeah. Definitely does have its Yeah, flaws. the 24 just wasn't wide enough when I was out the hot ways the other week. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be. No. But good working working range. Yep. Good overall lens. Um I should I'll show you a couple of these barley photos. It was interesting. How do I get it down? I never know how to get Lightroom to work with the stream. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah fill fill some time in guys talk keep keep the team happy okay or not what have we got, what have we got? Hey, just, no, no, <laughs> say nothing say nothing stay silent right. it's fine i'm just waiting you for are. you jim look i'm here now oh wow 
airplane. Yeah. Um, hey, what's going on here? What are you trying to do? Let's They're already out. So this um, is Justin using Lightroom for the first time. Yeah, no, I think things aren't working. There we go. Why won't that one go away? That's weird. Use error. Yeah, maybe. Can you just press F and just make it full screen? It is full screen. What? No, like F. So press F. Oh, just just to see the pictures only. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. If you prefer. Yeah. Sure. I just didn't want to scroll through all of them, but we'll just go fast. Oh. Uh, okay. This, you know, just taking some shots in the airport. I was just playing with the 35 mil to be like, all right, if this was all I was traveling with, which luckily the camera that I bought to hopefully travel with uh, has a fixed 28 mil lens, which I do like more. Just a little yeah. bit wider would have been nice in a lot of spots. Yeah. Um, but it was really just sort of shooting random bits and pieces as we wandered around. That's the only reason I took the camera. I did mm -hmm. take a 7200 because I thought I might shoot some surfing, um, but I didn't end up doing that at all. So I okay. really, I, sh I shot with the 35 mil the whole time. Um, That's cool. Just wandering around the beach and and cruising. That's, That's cool. I use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, just there's nice light over there. It's, um, I don't know. It's, it's diffuse, different. like it's hazy and diffused hazy. kind of. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, all of these just have, there's Yelena working out at the, the Sandy gym. Um, <laughs> that one's cool. <laughs> yeah. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun, actually. Something yeah. fun to do. We just got that, this like section out the back of the main gym where everything's, the weights are all like coconuts and bits of wood and stuff. So you got <laughs> yeah. like to, to make the weights heavier in this, you have to load coconuts into the baskets. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fun. But just the color, like the, I don't know, the, the color of the light and, greens and stuff all of these have just the maston labs uh ecta 100 preset on them mm -hmm. and no real editing so um i don't know it was fun it was fun having no real plan or anything to to shoot i didn't shoot any video cool shot. um yeah this is so all of these shots so far have been in uluwatu which is like the the cliff sort of area of Bali, mm -hmm. like it's it's the the south part, and it, it's all surrounded by cliffs. So you got to usually walk down a lot of steps and stuff to get to the beaches. And then there's these, just they just build everything's just built on on nothing right on the edge of the cliff. It's so, yeah. um, but it's yeah, it, it's awesome. Um, great views, great surf. Like this this yeah, um, cool. little shack is has like the best sunset view on the whole island. And it's just this this little. Did you shack. shoot a pano here? Uh, I shot a couple of shots to the side. I didn't shoot a pano. I shot that. Yeah. That was like my sunset shot. Yeah. I don't know what the sky was doing to do these finger things. I've seen mm. it once before. Um, I don't know what the... I need to research what the um, phenomenon is called. Yeah. yeah, like what does that with the light rays? Um, but mm. I've seen it before and it's crazy. Uh, like that's not edited really like no, it's got it that, cool, that preset over it and that's just what it looked like yeah um yeah and then that's had uh adobe aoa denoise on it it was a little bit noisy it's pretty dark but yeah a little bit of beach dining mm -hmm. aoa denoise on that one as well you can see the stars mm -hmm. starting to poke through it was really yep. dark monkeys Beach monkeys. shots. Oh, <laughs> Elena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. said uh, that's AI. Um, <laughs> got a few comments coming through. Yeah, I'll have to get back to them in a sec. Yeah, yeah, I'll come back to a couple. But yeah, great lighting on the shack. I agree. The lighting on the shack yeah, was great. It was beautiful. I, mm. I wanted to live in that shack. Mm. Um, that's why I was like, it needs to be a panel of that to take it around with those kind of light true. fingers. Andrew Burgess says, saw the same effect in Fiji in the dawn. Interesting. Yeah, this was sunset. I really need to, I need to research what, what it is that does it, but it's, mm -hmm. it looks very cool. Um, all right, what else we got? Back to full screen. Sunset, another beach sunset. Saw a lot of them. I really like, hang on if this actually loads. What's going on here? 
I love this shot because it's so it's so busy. There's so much going on at this this crazy yeah. little beach, but uh, it's mainly this guy. He's just so animated. <laughs> Sounds like him or the surfer. No, nah, no, nah, he was um, he was singing. Actually, they had the rap oh. going. Like, yeah, they had the tunes going. Okay. Monkeys. Monkeys. This was another crazy beach shack that we found on the other side of Uluwatu. It was like, yeah, it was a bit of a mission to get down there. And then this was the only thing there, just this one little shack. It was like cold drink, cold beer, coconut. Yeah, so. <laughs> this is up in Ubud. Lots of oh, rice, oh, rice cool. fields and roosters and just a different, um, yeah, completely different to Uluwatu in terms of the look and and the local sort of lifestyle all the way it's just mostly beach although there's a lot of rice fields around there too but um yeah Uber, it's super cool just so a few walks you can do just straight out of town that this like this was only t- 10 minute walk from the center of town okay yeah really cool <laughs> Random cat. More stuff um, built on the side of hills. So Elena, Elena hasn't seen this hasn't, picture. No, she hasn't. She hasn't seen <laughs> these pictures yet at all. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Yeah. <laughs> it's not all of them. There were a few more snapshotty type pictures as well, but these are just what I thought might be interesting. Um, Jay Shani, you haven't missed anything yet. Justin hasn't told us what it is. I haven't, uh, but you're you you you're pretty close. I, I might have gone back. Actually, no, I didn't go back. I did not go back to the Leica shop. Just the website. <laughs> but it's coming. We're going to unbox it soon. We'll have a look through these photos first. Uh, That's good. Is that like a there. house on like a yeah yeah rock everywhere. or something, or is that a house on? Top oh of the no house? no, there's a shack in front, and then behind oh. is a house. So the shack, and then right. there's this this. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's AI. Oh, totally. All of these have been... I just generated them all. <laughs> <laughs> the tree is coming um, So this, this is in like this weird... Uh, there's like these Tangalang rice... I can't pronounce it. Rice terraces. And it, it's it's sort of like a tourist park thing. It's very beautiful though. There's this, this statue there. And so like that looks pretty cool, right? Mm-hmm. But and it, so it's made out of bamboo completely. The whole statue pretty cool when you see it from a distance but then when you get up close you're like holy shit (laughs) like so all of this everything is that that's all like woven bamboo like the shoelaces everything oh wow it's the the amount of tiny pieces of bamboo to make like that's the foot that's elena for scale yeah Yeah. that's the foot (laughs) and then that's the the statue Wow, that's impressive. It was insane. I was like, I yeah. didn't really do a, a triple take to be like, what the hell is this thing? Anyway, moving on. More photos. Chasing waterfalls. You know, mm-hmm. getting the, the Instagrammer. Yeah. Uh, there was how, so how slow was your shut up? Um, <laughs> 15th. I wasn't okay. I wasn't pushing any limits. Um, mm-hmm. But that's with a 35 too. Like with a wide angle lens, you could go a lot slower. But 35, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, there's people everywhere too. A, a, a lot of like these waterfalls were yeah. pretty pretty packed. Um, to get a shot like that, you had to be a bit sneaky, sneaky. Um, and then more beach shots. Just yeah, it was all pretty. Just cruising around, lots of sunset photos. It was it was nice. I didn't didn't use my camera a lot. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. Cool. Looks good. Yeah, it was fun. And it looks I'm, warmer than here. It was much warmer than here. I'm very <laughs> excited to hopefully uh, travel with the new camera like that, where I, where I take it a lot more, like everywhere I go. That's what I want it for. I'm going to take it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Is what is camera? it? The camera. Hmm? Do we, should we try and whip it out? I reckon I should do it, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. We've been here long enough. Whip it out. I can't believe so. This arrived. <laughs> this arrived like yesterday morning. This is the longest I've ever waited to open anything, especially, <laughs> especially my dream camera. So, dream camera. Dream. Well, calling I, it dream so, camera. 
I've wanted maybe not like not this camera because this camera only came out. It was only released three or four weeks ago, mm-hmm. um, officially. But a version of this camera I've wanted for I would say well over ten years. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can. I don't know how this will work. Is there a camera there? Should I make it big? Yeah, get rid of us. Hang on, I can do this. Dun, dun, dun. This one? Yeah, and then this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> nice mouse pad. Where do you get that from? Uh, we've actually got a new range of them dropping uh, in Ooh. the next couple of weeks. What's different about the new ones? Can the you tell logo, us? The logo is smaller. Okay. And, and they come in the current color range that we've got of leather. Other than that, it's the same size. Oh, actually, okay. that's not true. They are backed with suede. They used to be just bare leather on the back. Now they're backed mm-hmm. with suede, which gives them a little bit more sort of grip and they sit a bit flatter on the on the bench. But okay, I'm excited. Cool. Yeah. All right. Have a look. See, look, haven't cool. even opened the, you know. About the, bo- uh, the bottom? <laughs> haven't Here opened the bottom. Look, security <laughs> seal. If this seal is broken, do not you go on podcast. It's not even broken. <laughs> i to be careful though because I don't want to cut the whatever's inside here. Uh, just cut the camera strap. <laughs> wow. It will be getting a new camera strap. That's for sure. Right, don't do a drum roll yet. This could take ages. <laughs> I don't know what's inside this box. Oh, I it'll, be, it'll be another box. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Double wrap. Okay. Oh, what you oh, get? Oh, 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 what's this? All right. Oh, oh. This is a bit of a... Uh, maybe. Oh. Are you going to put that um, on your carry? I think I will. You should. Yeah, yeah, of course you will. Because oh, you'd be like, I'm a Leica shooter. Stickers. <laughs> Go with your van. Right. Okay. <laughs> see what else we got. What are they? That is a UV filter. And this is a soft release button. I don't know why I decided to buy the Leica brand UV filter, but I was like, you know, it. it if you're in, you're in. Why not? <laughs> so, I'll open the soft release button up later. I'm very... So, we okay, can see on both cameras, so it's it's fine. <laughs> okay. Get this. You're a year later, go ouch in the background. <laughs> I don't know where to. I, I where reckon that start. white dot. One of there's those two, white there's dots. There's two. There's a white dot on each end. That one, not the other one. The other one's on the bottom. All right. Let's see. What now? What? Oh, it's upside down. There's another box, and it is upside down. There's a box inside a box inside a box. That's why it's so expensive. They spend all their money on boxes. Okay. Well, that was far too fast for us to read anything that was on that screen. Good. Good, good, good. Just keep you guessing for a little bit longer. There's, I think there's a security tag on there too. Oh, yeah. I ripped the box. Oh, there goes oh. to sell value. Hang on. Actually, What's going funny. On? I've been seeing people sell empty Nikon boxes lately for $25 for an I saw empty the, box. I saw that. Are they advertising them or selling? Because I feel like maybe they're just advertising them. I don't know if they're selling No, I think people are selling them. And then other people are like, oh, I've got a a random box that I don't have a camera for anymore, I'll sell that. And I'm like, who, who buys that box? <laughs> the serial number oh, doesn't... Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh. There's another box. Another box. <laughs> There's nothing in there. There's, box. <laughs> There's going to be one little tiny well, camera. it's a small camera. I mean, there could be... It's actually an Insta360. <laughs> 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 All right. I'll pop this box Are you going to eat that one or are you going to be careful with that one? I think... No, no. These, now we're getting to the like resale value point. I don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of light now. You'll have to do that. Okay. Yeah. So that box, is... Is it, like a, is it like a magnetic flip or something? Yeah, it is. That's cool. That's, That's a magnetic very magnetic flip. Pass the should parcel. Should have done pass the parcel. I think you guys need more light. but We do. That's... Maybe... Sh- um, There's not uh, much I can do. No, it's Let's fine. Let's see. All right. So there's a box. That's another box. Okay, and then in the bottom of this box, 
it's another magnetic it's another magnetic opening and there's a drawer <laughs> with another is that box. Where the what is this thing all right this looks like maybe manuals and accessory guides and things like that okay all right quick start guide don't, yep don't lose them we'll deal with them when you go to sell it the the like of people will definitely want right. all of this and then the bottom drawer in my little cabinet <laughs> what do we have here Ooh, a Leica lightning cable very nice <laughs> lot. as in uh, to an iphone it. Yeah, you can connect it straight to a phone. <laughs> Is this oh. the Russian babushka camera? <laughs> well, they're, look, there may not be a camera in here. I don't know what we're going to get to in the middle of this thing, but it, it, who knows? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, what do we got? A whole heap of little tiny baggies with stuff in them. I don't know if I can go through all of these on this podcast. But I don't know if we've got that kind of time. Like my camera will definitely turn off before you can, <laughs> all right. that. you can go you can go audio only that's fine um let's just see let's just pick a couple of random ones all right okay that that's like a filter it's a ring yeah just ring. a ring just yeah. a ring just a ring a like a ring like a ring yeah it's probably worth 15 grand let's see power cable that doesn't get a baggie so, <laughs> that's because like didn't make that one they just bought that are they tied together or something as well? They they are tied up for the first time to open them, and then you get in. This is this is by far the nicest purchase experience I've had of a camera. I don't know if you've ever unboxed like a Canon or a Nikon, Jim, but this time like <laughs> so, some plastic. I usually just yeah. toss I toss everything yeah. until I get to the camera, and then I'm like, that's all I need. Yeah, yeah, and leave everything else in the oh, box. Yeah? Battery, I'll need that. Yeah, cool. cool. We'll okay. Put that aside. That's good. I'm glad I unboxed that one. And a, a slightly larger ring than the first one. Or is it a filter? Oh, there's oh the a lens. Yeah. There's the camera strap that we'll have to be um, hmm. replacing. It's actually, it's the nicest camera strap I've ever gotten with a stock camera. That's for sure. Mm. It's got it's got like a slight taper to it. some sort of leather but it's not leather that i like but it's <laughs> lucky times like uh, in the future maybe uh we will be making something for this camera even if it's just for me and then we'll see if anyone else wants it what else we got this is quite an experience mm. it's quite a long experience oh yeah that's a de okay. So the Australian power cable comes uh, in a, in the plastic, but the other uh, countries get a, like a nice bag. A bag. So yeah. that's okay. Yeah, the Australia is just the afterthought. Well, yeah, yeah, it's fair. At least you got one, I suppose. At least we got one. At least I've got a cord. And the last last one. last little bag. I'm thinking it's going to be the lens hood. Okay. Elena is saying that this maybe is taking too long. I think. Yeah. Well. Oh no. She probably just says it's that a lot. It's the charger. It's the oh, charger. Okay. We're, we're we're through. We're through. We're done. Okay. You can stop yawning. That's not the only time Elena's yeah. used those faces. I think. <laughs> I'll just just gotta slide the bottom drawer back into my cabinet, and just. <laughs> mm. Don't break it. That box is probably worth a few thousand. It probably is. All right. Hopefully, potentially the final box. <laughs> There's got to nice be another texture. Box in there. Nice texture, nice little red dot there. All right. There it is. My dream camera. Dream camera. My dream camera. <laughs> He's been dreaming about this for 15 years. Almost, yeah. just not this exact one. There she is. Is that it? <laughs> that is it. <laughs> that is Where, it. Oh, where's the rest of it? You didn't drum roll. Uh, we, if Grant had been drum rolling that long, his desk would have broken. Man. <laughs> I'm excited. How do you turn it on? Uh, so, Justin, question. 
Yeah, hit me. Does Godox make a trigger for Laika? Yeah, they do. And do it's they? Got a, it's they, got a, they do. And it's got a <laughs> one two thousandth flash sync because it's a leaf shutter. So I can flash sync to one two thousandth at full power. Ha! That's, that's cool. That is cool. On your, is that on your fixed lens? Yeah. Fixed 28 lens that's nicer than any lens you got. Uh, Look, is it any out. nicer than my Look, 28? N- no battery door. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It just, oh, it's just gonna fall out did you buy a spare way. battery? No. No, I wanted to see if I like it first because <laughs> I think a battery is about $80,000. <laughs> I, I don't think they're cheap. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be using it for um, professional work until we shoot that wedding in September. So I'll get a battery by then. Until September. You need more yeah, than one for a wedding. Why? Well, one battery. Yeah, No, then you'll need more than one spare, <laughs> I feel. Nah, I should be right. Um, so this is, this is, this feels great. It's, look at that. Take the lens cap off. Come on. This looks odd. Yeah. It look odd. Looks I'll be, I'll be honest, it doesn't excite me at all. Really? The looks of it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe more in person. It doesn't excite you. You like the look of a D850. I do actually, yeah. But I see them a really? lot. Maybe that in maybe that in person is cooler. Really? Are you sure? Let me just yeah. just 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 imagine if I dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be <laughs> Look at that. So what does that do better than your R three? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all. I tell you. Okay, I'll tell you what does better than the R three. This, <clears throat> with a lens that would normally cost about ten grand on on to buy that lens for a Leica system. Um, <laughs> this, with the lens attached, weighs less than my R three. It's full frame, sixty megapixel. Um, I don't know what like it's it's small, it's a very very small full frame sixty mm. megapixel camera with a lens that is extremely high quality. Um, that so that that's what it does. It doesn't do, it doesn't do anything good. <laughs> like it doesn't, <laughs> you know. If I, if, if I need to do work, I'll be taking the R three. Other than when I shoot a wedding. But if I need to shoot sports, although I do want to shoot sports on this and see, look, it's got a tilty flippy screen. It's the first one that's ever had that. It just uh, just does that. Just fl- just tilt, yeah. Like <laughs> like yeah. T- uh, D850 yeah, has that still. Yeah, I think the D750 had that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the the Nikon style tilt is what it has. Yeah. yeah. Not not um, flip out to the side. So it's sort of comparable to a D750. Is what you're saying. Yeah, did they have 60 megapixel um, center? <laughs> well, if you, have, if you have three of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. We'll see. We'll see. I still need to decide. There's like a thumb grip and a, and a front grip you can get for it. I don't know ergonomics-wise what, what my plan is. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know. This will either be the worst decision I've ever made or the best decision I've ever made when it comes to camera gear. Okay. Hmm. Any questions about this particular camera? No, no. I just want to. When, see you, when are you going to shoot with it first? Well, I guess tomorrow. Okay. Take it out for a for a little spin. What I love, I'll tell you. I'll tell you some of the things I love about it. So, um, dial on the top for mm-hmm. shutter speed, but you can turn it straight to A for auto. Um, exposure compensation dial is right there. Mm-hmm. Um, and also the aperture ring on the lens is, I can't really find a good way to show you guys this, but aperture ring on the lens, but you can turn it all the way to auto as well. As well. So, yeah. so everything like to put it anything from, so to put it, you don't put it in aperture priority. You just put it to F1.7, but you can leave your shutter speed and ISO on auto. Yeah. Or yeah. you can, you know, like, or so it's, it's not... 
it's very um a very simple way of working as opposed to modes and yeah what yeah. mode am i in it's not yeah. you're just you're not in a just mode. just picking just, one yeah or, or none you can obviously just run it in full manual and exactly yeah yeah but yeah i want to walk around i really want to walk around on it with the aperture fixed um auto shutter speed auto iso and then use exposure compensation just quickly up and down mm-hmm. to fine-tune the, the look so it's a 1.7 28 yeah yeah what's it like what are they like at 1.7 insanely sharp okay that that was the other thing that pushed me towards this i don't know if i would have bought it if canon had an in a really good 28 mil i probably would have used that on the r5 for a while yeah. but they still haven't released their wide angle primes and i've always i've wanted a leica since they released the m9 which is the like oh, they had the m8 but the m9 was the first real sort of digital version of their m system which is manual focus range finder <laughs> Um, and I, I like poured through the reviews for that. Um, and they're, they're up to the M11 now. I think they only come out about every three years. So that, that would have been uh, like 10 years ago at least. Wow. Um, uh, got some questions coming in. I know, Jay Shani, hey, I know you can crop to shorter focal lengths because you can. So basically, it's got frame lines to go from 28 to 35 to 50 and even to... 75 and 90 i think but obviously that that's okay. just, they're just crops in camera in, crop, uh, in camera crops to those yeah. specific focal lengths 35 will be useful 50 will be useful because 50 i think is still about 24 megapixel yeah. um anything over that yeah. is really just for like whatever um yeah. you know like i need i don't know because when you if you do if you're shooting raw um, it's it's like the way Canon do it, where it's just a crop in Adobe. So basically, the crop is done when you put in Lightroom, but you can always change the crop mm-hmm. later. The whole raw file is still there, so it's it's just a method of shooting. Um, anyway, but the question actually is, does it have selectable raw file size like the M11 has? Yes, it does. I believe it has a thirty-six he longer meter. focal length. Hmm? Underneath no. that. Oh, sorry, meant longer focal lengths. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know you can crop to longer focal lengths, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but does it also have selectable raw file size? Yes, it does. I think it has the same options as the M11. I don't know if I'll use them because I'm not I'm not going to be shooting... Like, I'm not going to be shooting a lot of frames with this camera, so file size isn't an issue for me. Mm-hmm. So I think I would want the biggest file possible in case I do want to crop. Yeah. And is it, it's a Q3, sweet. is it? It's the Leica Q3. Yeah, we should announce yeah. what that... Da, 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 da. This is the Leica <laughs> Q3. This is my yeah. dream camera, even though it's very small. Oh, look at the bicep on the other screen. Oh, tricep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's, it's autofocus, is it, Justin? Yes. So that is yeah. the big difference between it and the M series. Uh, M series is all manual rangefinder. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, the Q series is autofocus, but in the rangefinder style bodies. And then Leica okay. do have their SL. They've got lots of cameras, but the SL series is like their autofocus mirrorless kind of system um, yeah. with interchangeable lenses and stuff. Um, but but they're a lot bigger than this. Like, yeah, this is so. This weighs probably the same as your D850 with no lens, mm-hmm. but with a lens. Yeah. Well, we'll have to have a look. We'll have to mm. test it out. You will. We'll have to. And it's weather sealed, he said. It is weather sealed, properly weather sealed. Um, what else? What else is special about it? I mean, there's a lot of things people talk about with this compared to the like the Q2 and all that sort of stuff. I don't think anyone really cares. Um, one cool thing that they've done with this is there's a um, grip that you can buy, like a a grip that adds, you know, a bit of a Mm-hmm. hand grip there. Something on there yeah yeah but it also goes along the base this that grip to these contact points and mm-hmm. allows you to wirelessly charge it so it's like you just sit it on your desk and it just charges uh-huh. oh, and that's, that's, that's the cool. i think that's the first time it's been done in cameras and i reckon we're going to see that flood through the entire market over the next five years probably yeah you're probably right. like like why wouldn't you want to be able to sit maybe not Maybe not for something like a D850 or a Z8 or whatever. Like maybe that that's so pro that people don't aren't going to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but 
anything that's kind of could be used as an everyday camera, why wouldn't you want to be able to sit it on a charging pad on your desk and just have it charge? Yeah, um, very true. So I don't know how hard it is for them to put the tech in there, but if Leica can do it, um, surely, you know, well, Canon. Yeah. It's else in every, everything phone. else now. Yeah. yeah. Like it's so, got a filter to filter back, doesn't it? Yeah. So, um, um, yeah, I don't know if I, that's not something that worries me too much. I'm more than happy to plug a USB cable in to charge it because that's the other thing. It does have USB-C, which is the first <laughs> first camera I think Leica have made other than their SL series to actually have a USB-C port. So mm-hmm. um, you can charge it through that. It's also got a mini HDMI out. So I'll possibly test using this as a the most expensive webcam ever. <laughs> For the podcast, that could be fun. See um, how it goes. What else did I want to test it for? Um, Are you going to use it on any, any mountain biking? I will. Tr- I do. I will test it. Yeah, I would actually. I'd love to do a proper video of that. Maybe mm-hmm. we can try and make that happen. Like get well involved happen. and do an actual. Like, can it? Can I, Can we make it work? Can I shoot yeah. a whole mountain bike review on the Q3? Um, so it doesn't do video, is that what you said as well? It does. It does. It, does. it doesn't. It doesn't do good video though. It doesn't have a mic input, but it does do. I think it actually does 8K. I won't be using it. But it does do 4K. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got some limitations and stuff, but yeah, it does do video. Um, yeah. Here, here we go. This is the backup that I need. You're getting a brilliant <laughs> autofocus lens with real manual focus rather than focus by wire, um, with a free camera attached. Bargain depending on how you look at it. And that, that is that is it. Like that, the lens for the M system is more yeah. than this camera. Okay. You don't sound convinced. I'm, well, I'm not. I'm not convinced. <laughs> you don't need to be convinced. You no. don't need to buy one. No. It's, it also, yeah, I'm also not paying for he it. He needs to get a Z8. That's what he needs to do. Yeah, you do. You do. Two Z8s. Yeah, you could probably get two Z8s for the price of this ridiculous camera. Where's my... Oh, man. So, I'm opening up one of my accessories, which was a soft touch shutter button. I may regret purchasing this. Do you know what a soft touch shutter button is? It's a little screw-in button that goes where you, you know, for your shutter finger. It looks oh. like this. This, this. It's got a little red accent underneath it. Right, oh, yeah. it's it's a piece of not much mm-hmm. that screws no in. That. I don't want to say. No, we need to know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say. Let me what put it? it on first and see if it makes it better to shoot with. Is it hundreds? Hundred ish. <laughs> Over one hundred. Um, over 100 technically yes <laughs> yeah. oh, it does make, 7 on eBay it does make it nicer to shoot with okay so yeah, you, you spent you spent a lot of money on this camera and then you've still got to buy a button for it man the accessories you can get you should see I don't even want to know it's probably horrible it was yeah, it was 120. It was 120. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, let me show you. Let me show you the brass accessories I I could have got. Um, what were you tempted to buy, but you didn't? I'll show you. I I wasn't tempted actually. I I looked at these and then I was like, no, that'll look silly. <laughs> but people are people are all getting about the brass brass accessories. So. There is a brass... The, the photo, the only photo I can find of this stuff um, isn't great. It doesn't show what it would look like in real life. Dun, 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 dun. So, um, there's this brass thumb support. The thumb supports are very popular because they, they, they slide into the hot shoe they give you access to the two buttons that are there and then your thumb rests on this this little bit and mm-hmm. like adds grip but they're 450 bucks you've obviously clicked on it cuz <laughs> yeah yeah damn you right did, you didn't click on on did you direct justin i did not 
even though um, it's cheaper. But yeah, so you can get a brass. Th- this is terrible photo because of the color that whatever mm. they've done. But basically, yeah, you can get um, a brass uh, lens hood, thumb support, and you can get a brass uh, shutter soft release as well. And apparently, yeah. that's that's all the rage. But yeah, no one's really. So yeah, you've got to fully pimp it out, kind of thing. Yeah, see, that's got the brass. Brass thumb support and the brass shutter button. It's terrible. <laughs> Crazy, right? Well, so if you need that, why would you just have that? Not everyone wants it. Okay. I don't know if I'll get it or not. If, if, if I, would, I would get the black one, just the so you can't. No, you got to get. You got to get the brass one. <laughs> I feel like that's like the baller status. I, I think that's going to be the thing. I think it, it's going to be you're a baller if you've got the brass, like the full yeah. set of brass three things, like this, this, and oh, this. You've got to do it. I don't think so. I think I you think do. I do. It's only like 1200 bucks. You're only like 1200 bucks. Uh, yeah, I don't think I will. I don't I even know. It's like 1000 I think I'll stick with the, the sleek black look and nah. maybe... Because I might actually, if I can go down to Melbourne, I might try the, that wireless charging grip thing out. Because it's actually, so the, the grip with wireless charging is less than the thumb support. It's like 390 and the, the thumb support is 450. So where does um, it, is it come out and then goes on the front or something? The How grip. does it start like the grip? Yeah. I'll show you. And then also, once all this stuff gets made, uh, once like once this has been out for a while, there'll be companies popping up making all sorts of random crap for these, like grips and all sorts mm-hmm. of yeah, third party um, camera straps. We will do. We will do them. We we've a never really. One. Yeah, we've never n- not specific to Leica, but specific to this style of camera, like small yeah. with ring attachment. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so that's the hand grip. Hopefully, Leica are smart enough to show it on the camera. No, that's not good. Okay, good job. You, I mean, you guys have oh, cameras. Oh, so this kind of comes out the front. Yeah, yeah, it comes out the front. I'll see if I can yeah. find an actual photo that shows it on the camera. One next year, it's probably better. But yeah, that's all right. Um, yeah, okay. So, so that. So, yeah, it just adds some probably support. The, it adds probably the grip that most people would want, but they don't. This is the rangefinder, like the M series shape of a yeah. body. That's the way they design it. That's the way they've always been that shape, and lots of people yeah. like it. So if they put the grip on from factory, there'd be a lot of people mm. that wouldn't like it. Uh, but also, it allows them to sell a shitload of accessories and make money. Mm. So there's that. Uh, and I guess as well, if you don't need it, like. You know, in our, in like DSLRs, it's normally where the battery is and all sorts. You know, they're using that space. Yeah, that's not just for for looks and and for comfort. That's right. Yep. You know what? I don't know. I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> I mean, there's no on button. Did Did you pay for the on button? Ah, oh, it is. It is an extra, actually. Yeah, there's a brass yeah. on button. A soft touch. Yeah. On, yeah. A soft, soft touch <laughs> brass on button. I think it's eight hundred bucks, but I should probably order it. Yeah. I have no idea how to turn this on. This one. What's, what do you always tell people, Justin, when they buy a camera? I'll read. Look, uh, I don't read manuals on live podcasts. That's something I've decided is not not the way I like to do things. I feel like I you could it. have it. This has taken that long. This unboxing. Look, fair point. <laughs> fair point. It's the slowest unboxing there is. <laughs> um, Jay Shani, got to head out, but congrats on the purchase, Justin. Hopefully, it brings you much inspiration and motivation to shoot. I agree. I hope it does too. Uh, make sure the anti theft webbing on your straps are at full strength. Yeah, I might make a, a triple, a tripled up anti theft one on this. Attach it to every limb I've got. <laughs> See you on the next one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't okay. know. I don't know how to turn it on. We'll figure it out later. On uh, next week's episode, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll figure out how to turn it on. Has, has he figured out how to turn it on? I don't know. How could it be this hard? Oh, I get it. Oh, that's a great spot. Oh, it's the on button. Yeah, the any key. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it's got any charge, but 
I figured out oh, how to turn it on, and I that's like rough. it. That is rough. I think you charged the battery. <laughs> yeah, that is rough. Yeah. Did you have to pay extra for that? Uh, yeah, you could get it pre-charged, but that was another yeah. 250 <laughs> No, it looks awesome. Kenneth, nice one, Justin. Happy for you. I'm sure it will get much use. It will get much use. It will get a lot of use. Um, weddings, mountain bikes, every day. We'll do stuff for Lucky with it. We will put it through its paces and see if it can shoot. I want to t- I want to see take it to Richard and see if we can shoot astrophotography with it. Um, um, he'll he'll yeah. get it to work. Yeah, I mean it'll um, work. It's just mm. whether it'll be any good. <laughs> No, nah, it'll be good. I don't think I don't think you're gonna have a bad time with it. Hopefully not. It is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Well, Yelena's lost you for the rest of the night. Yep. Yep. Well, she's got me while this charges up, but then after that, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be busy. That's what she I'll says just... too. I... <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, I'm gonna be busy playing with my new um, set of cabinetry. This is this is so good. <laughs> Well, there was enough boxes on the outside. They had to have something good on the inside. It's 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 cool. I you know, I don't know how much that box would cost. Uh, say for like Canon to do that for their R fives and above mm. or something. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Even if it only added, I don't know what this box would cost. Twenty bucks. That would be a huge cost for them in their line items. They'd be like, oh fuck, can't spend twenty bucks on a box. But people would love it. Yeah. But they can just put the camera up a hundred dollars. That's right, and and yeah, have like and, and the box. consumer wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. Put heaps of Canon stuff in there, heaps of little Canon yeah. bags. You know, mm. um, make the user experience better. Yeah, yeah. There's probably obviously they don't need to go to Leica levels because otherwise the price gets silly and it's not a tool anymore. Um, mm. But the, there's probably a middle ground for their premium cameras that that and lenses. Same like same with lenses. Like a lens you get and it's just. Like I bought that, I bought this amazing 50 mil 1.2, comes mm-hmm. in a box, in a plastic thing, in a plastic bag. Yeah. And it's like, that's it. It's not really exciting. It was, it was three and a half grand for a I think the good Nikon ones come in like a, a little, like a suede bag or something, some of the cool ones. Yeah. And, but Which... even then, it's like, give us something, you know? Yeah. It's a sticker or something, you know, like. What you, so anything, yeah, it's a, it's anything a to be like, hey, if you own this lens, you probably own, I mean, solid chance you own at least 10 or 15 grand worth of gear, but most likely 20, 30, 40. Mm. Give them something. Yeah. They're, they're probably fans. Anyway, <laughs> like I know how to roll. Maybe just so, give them a message or something. So other thing too, it's so because it's rangefinder style, the um, EVF is to the side there. Can you show us how it looks through it? Like this? Nah, it doesn't turn off. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. I don't think. I think these uh, just for looks. These cameras. I don't know. Can you can you plug it into like? Did you say it charges via USB C? Yeah, yeah. I'll charge it up after the show. It, okay. it, I could plug it into a USB C and we'd be off to the races. But mm. you know, later next week. Cool. No, very next, exciting. Next, next week on the podcast. <laughs> Uh, anything else you guys want to talk about? When's your trip, Jim? Uh, next week. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you're yeah. gone for two weeks. Uh, are, you, are you free on the weekend? This weekend? Uh, no, yes. no, I'm not. Okay. Was that? We I was got gonna on? say photo photo battle, but all right. Uh, well, no, you, I won't go you, and, you and I can have a photo battle, Grant. Yeah. All right. We'll do that again. I can maybe do something Sunday, but I'll. <laughs> again, I'll um, by ourselves. <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, but yeah, and no, heading off uh, Thursday next week, Wednesday, Thursday next week. Ah, oh, yeah, right. So, well, be I'll be away. Um, yeah, for two weeks. Well, two I'll Thursdays be anyway. Trying hard to get the interviews ramped back up. I've got a giant list of people that I'm going to start annoying and uh, hopefully getting them on the podcast. Um, cool. It's going to be fun. I've got yeah a list of probably 35 people. Starting wow. from oh, wow. ha- uh, hard and going to very, very, very hard to try and get on the podcast, and we'll just see see who we can get. But I think it'll be good. 
I mean, Kenneth wants to know, are Leica designing their own sensors or using Sony, etc.? I'm pretty sure this is no one. No one knows. Um, most people seem to think they're Sony sensors. Most sensors seem to be Sony sensors, but their sensors are also very similar to what's in, uh, what's in some of the Panasonic cameras. Um, the Panasonic, Panasonic and Leica have the L mount lens alliance, so you can actually use Leica lenses on Panasonic SLs and vice versa. And no, Panasonic Lumixes. Um, and vice versa with Leica's SLs. So I don't know. They they say they're different. Um, I don't. They're not designing their. They're not making their own sensors. Someone's making them for them. But how much input they're having into changing a design or designing from scratch, I'm not sure. I mean, it's a 60 megapixel sensor. Sony has a 60 megapixel sensor in the A7R five. Uh, the chance that they're not the same is is pretty low, but th yeah. they'd obviously be changed. I don't know. I, I, I'm i not sure. Um, I know that their color science is different regardless, so you're not going to get the same results. Um, but, yeah, from what the initial testing everyone's been saying, it's like, I don't know. It's It's got to be close to that Sony 60 megapixel sensor. So, I don't know. Go sure. hmm cool all right well maybe we'll wrap it up there okay since i've wasted everyone's time unboxing my new dream camera and it doesn't even turn on because battery's flat and i couldn't find the switch <laughs> i'm surprised jim lasted this long though with his battery well, that's a good uh, point. no no with richard i got like two and a bit hours and it died four or five times. <laughs> <laughs> that was at the start. And then we're all good after yeah, that. Yeah. Nah, well, we got the, the, the settings on, correct now. It just keeps on trucking. The good old. It's going good. I'm trying to sell it, but it's just offers quite, aren't quite there yet. Mm, drop the price. Oh. Let's trade it in. Take it, it in. Hey, one thing I just I was, need to go to Melbourne. That's the thing. One thing I was thinking, I don't know if this is a crazy idea or not, but I was actually thinking about having a garage sale like a lucky not not like could have it the lucky office or whatever but like a photography garage sale like i've got a lot of crap and i don't want to list it all on marketplace mm -hmm. i'm like i wonder if jim's got some stuff and and if if we put the word out to just i don't know anyone else in bendigo that we know that's like yeah i've got some, like the amount of camera bags and just like lighting yeah. modifiers and shit that i've got kicking around um i feel like it would be easy to just take it all into the lucky office and be like all right on this saturday garage sale mm. and what light modifiers know, do you have uh, heaps of random crap like reflectors and all that kind of stuff not i've yeah. got a few soft boxes and things but most of them are all there i don't know they're all over the place and mm. i don't i don't want to deal with Either, it's, it's, either, marketplace. it's either that or I, I put it on marketplaces like three lots and it'll be like lot one assorted lighting crap for photography hmm. and just a price people buy it though like yeah. there'll be someone that's like oh yeah i want some of that stuff and then i'll deal with the rest yeah exactly so. exactly but i just thought a garage sale could be fun hmm. Good. particularly with the camera bags i've got i've probably got five or six you know camera bags that were five or six hundred dollars new hmm. that I should sell. I've got one sitting in the shed. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Anyway, that was just a thought. Mm. Then I was like, mm, maybe it could become a thing, but it sounds like a lot to organize. But imagine if you could have a like a, you know, a bit of a where people can come and bring their own shit they want to get rid of. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Make it a destination. Anyway, it was just mm. a thought. Maybe. Cool. All right. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. See Thanks. You later. Thanks for everyone for jumping on. Yes. Thanks for everyone for watching. We'll be ramping back up and better than ever soon. So this was just a warm back into things. And a new camera. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. That doesn't turn on. <laughs> <laughs>